Hi, today I want to tell you a little bit about how I physically prepare for a multi-day run. Most of the time I just go for a run. It makes up for probably about 95% of the time I go, I go running. And the main reason I like running best is that it puts you under like a constant strain. When you're cycling, you go uphill, it's super hard, and then you're going downhill, basically resting. You know, you're not moving your legs and you're still going like 30, 40 kilometers per hour. With running, you stop moving your legs, you stop. So you have to move all the time. And multi-day runs, movement is all that counts really. You can just shuffle around or even crawl, but you have to move all the time. You can't running, start walking. You can't walk, start crawling. You just have to move, you have to cover the distance. Because as soon as you start thinking about how hard it is, or that you can't anymore, it gets into your head, and then sooner or later, you really can't anymore. Roadkill, or it could be heart attack. Training is it's probably not, not the best kind of word to describe what I'm doing. You know, I just go for a run. I don't have any structured training plan or anything like that. So how far should you go? You should be able to do in the same amount of time at least half the distance that you're going to do during your trip. So let's say that you're going on a week-long trip that's where you cover 300 kilometers. That means that on a regular preparation week you should be able to cover 150 at least. If you're anything like me and you're doing 95% of the time just running, then you'll definitely want to get a stronger upper body too because you have to carry all that gear with you. You don't have to hit the gym. You know, it can be just body weight exercises, planks, pull-ups, squats, but you're going to be carrying your gear and that means you have to be strong on your upper body also. Now one thing that is crucial though is you must have fun. If you're not having fun, you won't be able to get very far. Just think about it. If you're not having fun on your regular runs, how the hell are you going to have fun when you're out there? It's freaking cold, you're wet, you're tired, you're hungry, you haven't slept three nights in a row, but you still have to go. So, you must have fun. Rule number one. And the bottom line is that there are no secrets, no shortcuts. You just have to go hard for long. That's all you need when you go for a multi-day run. That's it for today. I'll sign off, finish my run, and I'll talk to you next time. It's payback time.